gotta look at this evidence, right? So we are... We have no evidence on the mom yet. We have some on Nan. We need to try to get Nan evidence, and we need to get some more on Toby. And we need one more piece of evidence on Bradley. Because Lottie is not it. Auntie June is not it. We need Nan, Mom, Toby. God, this is... This is, this is tr tricky, dude. It's, I'm so just, like, confused on some of these... On how to get some of this evidence. It was TTFA of 100%. Oh my goodness. Okay, so essentially the whole setup is um, your uncle calls you to say like, hey, uh, someone in the family poisoned me. You need to help me out and figure out who poisoned me or whatever. Um, and uh, that's pretty That's pretty much it. This is, this is the beginning. Hi, Mom. I'm not going to make the virtual quiz tonight. Yes, I know it's your birthday and we do it every year. And I realised that it starts in a couple of seconds. Yes, yes, I'm an adult now and TTFA. I make my own choices. And I shouldn't be petrified of telling my mum how I really feel. Don't be late tonight. Don't answer it. Come on, Abby, ignore her, please. She knows how to leave a message. Oh, sorry. All right, we're, spe we're okay, speed everyone pick run. Team, please. Okay, so we're going. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, did someone just say my name? <sighs> okay, Fine. so play with. Mom. Who's next? Nan. Uh, we did Auntie June. We did Mom. Um, we need to play with Nan on this one. Hello, my gorgeous girl. How are you, love? I'm um, okay. Thanks, Nan. How are you? Oh, don't worry about me. Same as usual. How's work, love? Um, Darth is like Met anyone recently? Wood. Uh, when am I seeing you next? Uh, question one. We'll finish our chat later, love. I was recently interviewed by fashion icon. Pretty good. Yeah. 6.8 is actually channel. pretty damn good. Can yeah. I I Honestly, the acting is pretty like sphere. pretty solid. It's it? a good script Crikey. too. It's a good oh, idea. She used to hate spiders. I mean, she. Or was that you? For, actually, for a game that's it, literally that like Skype, this isn't that Which bad. One of you was for a who done it? Of geese. Lottie is definitely scared of spiders, but she's kind of had this weird fear for a while about going bold what a silly girl although i don't know if she'd admit that in the interview what if we did it like this if we went through in this quiz a, i wish she was more like you abby love she's been spoiled by her father too much just her problem. going with one character the entire Let's time and then the next round do it with another character as much as possible and then keep going and then sooner or later you're going to end up getting the correct answer is spiders you're gonna end up getting the right evidence, I think. You know, it's actually I feel. really hard for me to talk about this. Oh dear. Question two is, in that same interview with Jani O, oh, she asked me, what is my greatest achievement to date? This might be kind of easy for some of you, but I guess I'll figure out who actually watched the interview, won't I? Did you watch it, love? Yeah, I meant to. Oh dear. Well, she was really happy when she grew old enough to drink. Maybe that's it. Nan, can I ask you something? Of course, love. So the answer is being interviewed by Jani O. Oh, what else could I say? She is an icon. What happened at the meeting the other night? You know what it's like, love. This family loved to bicker. Did you notice anything different? We haven't, well, we haven't pressed I've her. I've not seen your Auntie June drink so much. Uh, why is it going to be about June? Something? Do we already she have plenty far about more June? more anxious about the meeting than she normally is. I don't know what she was expecting. We already know, I mean, June. your mother was planning to tell Marcus that she wanted to buy him out. But before everything started, June said to me that it was going to be the end of the road for Marcus. She can't have thought he'd give up his share in the family business that easily. Okay, I still don't have question three yet, so just like... New evidence. Know, chill. I'll has been know. gone. Coral? What is, what is coral? What is arguments? Like usual. It was a is bit a, of a disaster, a, um, to be truthful. Your a Auntie show? June, not one of her huge Coronation's candles, tree. right into Marcus's I've never heard of it. 
awful smell it was. Don't know why anyone would want that in their home. She must have to light another candle to get rid of the stench. Toby threw his oh, drink shit, over Marcus okay. to put the flames out, but it didn't work. Yeah, so like the mother some, had some to decent, throw another drink over. In this Thankfully man. that worked. But then Marcus said he burned his hand. Fair play to Lottie. She was the quickest to react. She got a cold cloth and put it on the wound, and Bradley got some painkillers for Marcus. Then what would have done without those kids? Oh, this is a good one. Okay, question three. I recently modeled in the publicity campaign for which product? Gosh, any ideas, love? Yeah, I, th I think it's this makeup brand. Well, sort of, she's, she's been spamming her followers with emails about it. I signed up to a mailing list as a favor. Regretting it now, I bet. Little bit, yeah. Lottie keeps trying to make me get an email, but I'm not falling for it. This ball <laughs> on BBC One keeps going on about how the internet this is essentially a giant scam. <sighs> what was the question? Some, something about makeup? This something. Are you all right, love? The answer is Dark Genie Virtual Eye. We have to keep pressing Grandma. Trusting we have to. The, 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 we, I can we've been answering. I want and I never have to wash my face. We answered it the other time. And everyone on my mailing list is entitled to 10% off their first purchase, but the offer ends this month, so hurry quick. What were you saying, love? Sorry, Nan, I just... Do you remember anything else about the meeting? Anything strange? Strange? No. Uh, just the usual fuss about nothing. <laughs> Couple of temper tantrums, that's it. Honestly, love, I wish I'd followed your lead and not even bothered with it. Question four, guys. So, which famous musician recently mm. DM'd me for a hookup? What's a hookup? I really don't want to say. <laughs> sexy, sexy. Is it? <laughs> What's not a hookup, sure Darth? a clue, but he was staying at the Hilton and he asked me to meet him in his car. <laughs> Apparently, that's like his thing. Lottie. Do you think this is at all appropriate for a family occasion? You think your nan wants to hear this? I don't mind. She's only young. Let her have her fun. This kind of behaviour is unbecoming to our family, Lottie. No one's saying you're not entitled to a sex life, but you shouldn't be shouting about it. Your mother's just jealous, Lottie, because her sex life's about as active as the surface of the moon. And you're just... Batting them away, aren't you, June? <laughs> You've probably dried up down there. Girls, oh. you're embarrassing yourselves now. Honestly, I don't care. Dried up like a prune. Someone else can have a go. At least I tried. Oh, well, that's a shame. I thought we made a good team. Bruh. Yeah, me too. It's been lovely talking to you, love. I don't hear much off the grandkids anymore. Well, apart from Toby, he's been phoning Toby. a few times Come on. recently. Please, think give us something here. He says a word, but I can tell by his voice he's been crying. Give us something. Like he wants to say something really important, and then he just asks me how I am and says bye. We needed like something for okay. Toby. You, you'll tell me if he says anything to you, won't That's you? That's evidence, come yeah, on. That has yeah, to be evidence. Give me that evidence. Well, I better yes. hop to the ladies' room before go, it all dude. starts up again. Bye, love. That has to be that has to be the last one for, for Nan. I am never teaming up with that for Hold on, we got it. Let's see. We got Brad, we need one more. Lottie, we're good. Mum, nothing. We need one more for Toby. We are so close. We're so fucking close. Oh, you sent it me, Darth. Wood. <laughs> <laughs> that that's that's literally the 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 Darth like icon. Is you or get a picture of you as the as that dude with the microphone. <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> okay, so we need one more with Toby on edge. Oh, Nan with the wheelbarrow. And I thought we need a we're so close with Bradley and Toby, so I think we still need to continue talking with Nan and Mum, I think. Family tree, what is this? Margaret, who the fuck is Margaret? Freak again. I was only trying to make conversation. Uh, have you told Mum about your latest purchase? Huh? He's bought a gun, Mum. Literally, the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. 
Right, it's not the exact gun, it's the same make. Okay. Your grandma sure loves to talk. Yeah, we got... That wasn't all meaningless. Plus, I have some news that... Okay. Hell yeah, we got all the grandma. We got all grandma... Uh, What's it called? All of the grandma um, evidence. Let's fucking go, dude. Yeah, signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do my round later. I can give it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. <sighs> Look, I'll do my round. I'm trying to remember who... Let's try and bring some order and civility back to proceedings, shall we? I'm trying to remember who else we need. Dare I even say a bit of class? <laughs> Toby. I, I think we George, you remember if we need Toby? A piece of music. We, if you're still there. One I think of we the need classics. Toby. Gold. Spandau Ballet. Like Toby one has a piece of evidence no, I mean that the we have. True classics. No, true. That's another one. Two points to me. I'm talking about Mozart, Bach, Chopin, actual geniuses. You don't care Bradley about geniuses. Too. You only cared about Oh. Uh, Toby Bradley. I think we do. I just beat a boss on Terraria. It's not Oh, nice dude. We haven't talked to we haven't talked with Bradley in a I feel like Bradley would give us something about Toby, or Toby would give us something about Bradley. Um, let's try with Bradley. I think we only talked to him one time. Hey Bradley, how or are you? Twice. Uh, who's that on your t-shirt? La, la. I'll go with Beethoven. And that was, of course, fur release by the great man himself, Beethoven. Ah, we got it right. Piece number two. La 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 you should tell her. I'm not going to tell her. Mum, I, I think you've pressed a voice filter by mistake. There should there should be a button on your screen. Is that it? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, Hello? 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 Well, thanks for that, everyone. You're all a great help. <clears throat> Moving on. La 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 I can't even remember what we're supposed to be doing now. La 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 So do you like music? I mean uh stuff like this. Classical music. I like the ones that sound sad. Yeah, me too. Flick, are we seriously supposed to just know these? I mean get the two bees. You're being so weird. Sorry. Let's try Bach. This fucking guy, yeah. I can't believe some of you still got that wrong, even with such an easy clue. Well, the answer is Johann Sebastian Bach's minuet in G minor. Bach, Werke, Versychnis, Anhang 115. Snappy title. <laughs> Why are we trying to make jokes? I don't know. Dang, dude, what a, not funny. What a piece of shit. I'm not bloke. sure what to do for my next piece. It needs to be something with power. Yet emotional heft. Be patient while I think. I mean, what does your mum get out of this music? I'm not sure. I think she just likes it. I mean, she was playing some of these pieces of music at the meeting. Uh, the meeting? Yeah, it's like she was trying to show everyone she was in charge. It wasn't even her house. She's just got, like, a thing about trying to control whatever's happening. Yeah, we... Yeah, what was happening? We went through this a before. Lot. Maybe you should have been there. This next piece is so obvious, I considered not doing it, but for some reason it's been going round in my head. Perhaps this will get it out of my system. La, 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 la. Oh, I can never remember the name. Funeral March. It's Funeral March by Chopin. It's one of my favourites. All oh, right, yeah. It's one of my favourites. It's, it's a good one. La, 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 la. This guy's a, he's such a tryhard, dude. He's such a tryhard. He's like, cut my wrist that piece in black was the my incredibly eyes. moving funeral march by Chopin. I already know what I'm doing for my fourth piece, so be quiet. No, oh no, no, the humidity's changed. I can't sing in this. I could sprain something. Let's move on to the next round. 
I was surprised you weren't at the meeting. Aren't you Uncle Marcus's biggest cheerleader? Uh, yeah, no, I... Oh, shit. Okay, so we already got everything that we could from Bradley. Okay, so that's good that okay. we did that. Listen up, guys. Uh, my signal seems to have settled down a bit, yeah? So let's do my run now. But listen, I've got a pretty cool new Funeral march, yeah. On how to... Everyone get in teams. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, Especially, cool. like, yeah, with a, with a song about uh, death. Lottie, you... Ew, no. Don't let her talk to you like that, Bradley. As if you never um, speak to me ever again. I think we need... We need... We need... Mum, I think we need mum. Is, is that empathy? I, have a word I think so. <laughs> Sorry, Toby, this is just supposed to be a bit of fun for mum's quiz. Do we really need to think about this admittedly very important and very sad stuff? Now. See, it's that kind of attitude that makes doing this round so important, yeah? Now, imagine this. A mystery illness starts sweeping through your little fishing village. Ooh, actually, I've got some uh, resources that might help you engage with the subject, OK? Um, let me just uh, share them with you. Oh, we haven't seen this yet. We have, this is uh, let me just catch up to where we were. OK, OK, so the symptoms of the disease are vomiting. Jesus Christ. And <laughs> diarrhea. No. Toby, turn that off right now. The people of this fishing village can't just turn it off, Auntie Felicity. Toby, turn that off right fucking now. OK, so we won't use the resources. Oh, why did I have chilli for supper? The mystery illness starts <sighs> sweeping through your village, but the nearest hospital is 200 miles away. What emotional toil does that take? Do you want to stop, Mum? No, I'm not looking at pictures of shit without getting some points. If he wants a performance, I'll give him a performance. The devil is here. <laughs> the devil is, is in our homes. He comes at night, comes to snatch us away. How will our poor little fishing village cope? Wow. Mum, that was amazing. Mm. Yeah, I've never been much of a one for improvisation, but you know, maybe I underestimate myself. Last time we joined in, We must good? protect the children! Nailed it. Auntie Felicity? Yes? That's actually really reductive, yeah? It's even pretty offensive, you know? I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to take five points off you. You can't deduct points. It's my round. It's my quiz. And you're not taking a single point off me, you arrogant prat. Just ask a question, Toby, an actual question, a normal, proper question. You're so right about Toby, he is so arrogant. Anna Pratt. Yeah, June made a complete mess of those boys, but they don't help themselves. Uh, so let me get this straight. What you're saying is, is that you lack the basic human decency to understand another person's struggle, yeah? Shut up, Toby. <laughs> there are other people in the world beside you. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we here for Hilda the Fisherwoman's birthday? Well, no, but... Toby, let me stop you there. You... Is the next thing you're going to say a question? An actual question. The kind of thing you'd get in a quiz. I've got a different scenario about mating turtles. No, I'm sorry, Toby, you've had your chance. I am You're done. doing a problem. OK, no, so, she, so she should Why give us some information here. Why do I even bother? I try to do something nice. She has to give us something here. Something selfless for this family. I know, Mum. I know, Mum. Is that your total contribution? Christ, Abby, oh, let me get a word in. Wait, wait, <laughs> Mum, I, I need to tell you something. Something really bad has happened to Uncle Marcus. I'm not interested. No, but he's... The man's a liar, Abby. I always hoped you would oh, fall for it. And perhaps oh, I should I have do. done something when you were younger, but it wasn't easy for me either. After your father died, I thought, oh, if you want to turn to Uncle Marcus and not me, perhaps I should let you know. Either you'd realise what it was like or... Mum, what are you talking about? You really don't see it, do you? He's paranoid, Abby. 
You gotta Deceitful. be kidding me, dude. Always painting himself as the good guy, the victim. I chose all the choices that I haven't ago, done before. A business partner was trying to kill him. He was sent all these threatening emails, Fuck. anonymous emails. Wouldn't surprise me. Abby, please. Family that would never fucking lie to you. <sighs> See, we need one more piece of information from mom. I am. I always play nicely. Play with Toby, Bradley. We have Tabby. We need one more from Toby, and I think one. We have Nan. We need to go for Toby here. I mean, if she'd just let me see Dad in the first place, I wouldn't have had to lie about the rest. So this is where we press him, George. This well, is what what happened to saying. Uncle Marcus at the meeting? Just tell me everything. Why are you asking me? Ask your sister. She was the only one I saw alone with him, okay? She was putting something in his hand. I don't know what, but he looked pretty uncomfortable. So, for those of you that ventured to answer, the correct answer is six times. All because I wouldn't let him see the man who cheated on me. Wait, do we, do we have that already? We had, yeah, we already had that. Fuck, we need one more for Toby, dude, and one more for Bradley. Still nothing for... For the mom, dude. What the fuck? Who cheated on us for seven years. She's really gone over the edge. Question two. How many of thanks my boyfriends... Thanks for the lurk, man. I appreciate you. ...has Felicity hope you, hope you enjoyed stolen? It. Now, I'm going to make it easier for you. Let's just count the ones while we were <laughs> at school. Jesus! Our mums are a nightmare, aren't they, Abs? I mean, that's why I'm so glad I had my dad. You know, he helped balance me out. He gave me my moral compass. Wasn't he done for tax fraud? Everyone makes mistakes, Abby. Dad was always there for me when I really needed him. Mm -hmm. You know, apart from the 18 months, of course. But he was better than a lot of dads I can think of. Well, some of you clearly think very highly of Flick and rather less of me. Well, let's scraps, but there were plenty of scraps to scavenge. You've got to think bigger. Just press up more. Did you see anyone else give something to Uncle Marcus? I don't know. Toby, tell me now. Oh, here we go, 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 here we go. Oh, uh, Felicity. I mean, you know, your mum. Yeah, she was um, offering things uh, for him to eat. You know, hors d'oeuvres, canapes, that this kind of new. stuff. This is new. And, um, yeah, I think, he, I think he took one in the end just to shut her up. Abby, I need you. That's a new piece of information. What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc says if I take the right antidote now, I might just make it. I can't trust my brain right now, kiddo. What happens? Just choose. Please. I try to remember if we if we do if we don't give him the right antidote. Um he dies and we continue and then we just start accusing people but if he survives we still accuse i believe um yeah oh sweet we got everything from toby we got everything from toby let's go abby where have you been so we're. Oh, God damn it! All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start powering through this now. Something on Bradley. So we need to. You need to sh- Don't answer it. Okay, everyone pick your team, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Mom, we got everything from Mom. We played Nan. Because we did the vibe thing. We did that with it. It's the Mom. It is. It'll be some sort of bizarre vegetation, won't it? 
Is it trendy to eat a hedge now? Actually, I think I know the answer. It's a keto, ke ketogenic hemp and tofu bowl. That's not a meal. It's a collection of noises. Oh, I know, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's what Lottie will say. Ooh. There we go. OK, so the dish is called Humility. It's a specially prepared hemp and tofu bowl served with quinoa. Ugh, honestly changed my life. That's not food, it's just syllables. Well, at least we got a point for it. You bothered to brush your hair today? I think so. Question two. I've worked with some of the best cutting edge and underground designers in the world. Like, Jani O, Hieronymus Gosh. Jesus Christ. The Dongle Brothers. But who is my style icon? Oh, hang on, I know this. It's me. Lottie says it all the time. We met for brunch a few months ago, and when I got to the table, she just looked at me and went, iconic. Yeah, she said that to me a few times too. Well, you're her style icon. Find that hard to believe. No, um, she said that about you to me. Oh, yes, that makes more sense. I'll just answer the question, shall I? Oh, hang on, though. I know Lottie wouldn't make this the question if she wasn't the answer. Yes, let's just say Lottie. I bet she says that. So, the answer is obviously me. So predictable. I'm just like, why follow anyone else's vibe? I'm just so unique. Why not channel that into my style, you know? When did unique become synonymous with up your own ass? Um, just talk amongst yourselves, guys. When I have question three, I will shout. Sorry, I missed the meeting, Mum. So you should be. It was the usual nightmare. Don't see why you should get to escape it. No one consolation. Marcus came off worse this time. I mean, I know you've hero worshipped that man ever since your father died, but he really is an awful prick. What happened? Oh, didn't anyone tell you? Auntie June knocked one of her foul-smelling candles right onto him. Christ! Loads of people are doing it. Loads of people aren't in this family, Abby. Just pick an answer. OK, I'll go with the shaker. The answer is singing. Last week, I did this collab on my channel with a girl who plays dubstep on the harp. It was so epic. Sorry, Mum. Well, it's hard when there's more than one talent to choose from. Wouldn't have that problem with you, would we, Abby? <laughs> Slim pickings there. Question four. How many dance championships did I win as a kid? God, she loves herself. Baffles me where she gets it. No one in real life does maths without a calculator. Um, I've got one on my phone somewhere. Is it 12? Just be quick about it. Dude, why are everybody such cunts in this fucking family? The man? answer is an unbelievable 12 wins. My coach begged me to keep dancing. He'd never seen anyone like me, but like, I think I made the right call leaving to find a new challenge. New challenge? She broke a toe through a massive hissy fit and quit. Someone else can go now. I'm getting, like, really low on my social battery. Oh, thank God that's over. Oh, um, Mum, I wanted to ask you a question. Yeah. Jeez, okay. dude, the mum is the worst. I am never teaming up with that freak again. I was only trying to make conversation. Your mom's pretty tricky. It, it's her. We we need one more thing up from her. Yeah, signal's not great. Oh, uh, Bradley, mm, Toby, Lottie. I'm trying to remember if we got everything from Bradley. Lottie. Hey, babe. Hi, love her, Guard her loins, whatever that means. Yeah. I think she was probably just trying to drown out the sound of all the arguments, to be honest. Well, nice one, babe. Thanks, babe. Oh, my God, you missed a mad one the other night. Did I? Yeah. Like, so much random stuff happened. I was speaking to Auntie June, and she said she had this, like, big, horrible spelling candle made especially for the meeting, and she called it something weird too, like, closure. 
That is weird. I know. Like, if you're going to have Fuck, something special made from this. eating, at least make it something we can all enjoy. Like, what's wrong with pizza? OK. I know what I'm doing for my next piece. La da 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 Da, 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 la, 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 yeah, I really don't know. La, la, la. Let's la, hungry la, rhapsody la, la, number two. It's free. Don't apologize to me, babe. Apologize to your skin. Oh, yeah, will do. Thanks. What was Uncle Marcus like at the meeting? Honestly, pretty hostile. Really? Yeah, he's just got that vibe, you know, like he just thinks everyone is out to get him. Oh, okay. Right, I'm starting my next piece now, whether you're ready or not. Oh my god. When I was a kid, I just like listened to it over and over and over. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've got an app on my phone, babe. It's recognizing all the songs for us. No one uses their brains anymore. <laughs> Obviously. <gasps> well, let's not waste any more time. Oh, oh Christ, I think I've strained something. Oh. You, this, none of this is worth me doing any serious damage to my voice, not even a mild twinge. Someone else can do their round now. So, Lottie, I need to ask you something. Uh -huh, yeah, gotta go, babe. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Fabulous birthday so far, Flig. Do you think we're. Okay, we got everything from Lottie. Okay. This As if you never speak to me ever again. So we need to get we need to get this piece of information from mom. How's it going, mom? How do you think? Good? Bad. Very bad. This quiz has been a disaster so far. But I'm getting to the end of this round, no matter what. Well, it's just nice to do something on your birthday. Is it? Well, none of us would be here if it wasn't for you. No, no, you wouldn't. Okay. Listen up, guys. We're doing what I like to call Empathy scenarios. It's kind of quiz, kind of a workshop type thing. So I'm going to give you a scenario and you can score points by how well you... Is, is that empathy? I think so. <laughs> You're going to be awesome at this, Mum. You're an amazing actor. I know. Although why Toby can't just do a normal bloody round, I don't know. He's been all over the shop recently. Well, mentally, I mean. Oh, really? Yeah, he was off his head at the meeting. I overheard him talking to himself in the toilets. You have to do this. We heard this one you too. You can do this. I mean, it gives me no pleasure to say this at all, but I do worry that he might be hitting the sauce like his mother. Relate to this. Rising sea temperatures mean the fish you seek have moved further away from all right, we heard, we have that evidence already. Body, mom, yeah, they were just, yeah, talking to himself. Her mom. From the coast into dangerous waters, unsailable waters. Your livelihood is literally abandoning you. How does that make you feel? Oh, come on, really exist as these people. <sighs> Fine. <coughs> oh my God, Mum, are you okay? <coughs> God, Mum, <coughs> that's so <coughs> moving. I know, I've always been able to cry on demand. <laughs> your nan fell for it every time. Drove your aunt June nuts, because it was how I always made sure she got into trouble for things she didn't do. <laughs> but they're always there, the tears. Don't know why, just below the surface. Wow, Auntie Felicity, that. Yes. That's actually really patronizing. These people are far braver, have far more resilience than you could ever imagine. They would never give up. They would face any danger for their families, for their way of life, yeah? Let's mix things up and bring this a little closer to home. No, this is supposed to be a quiz, not a fucking TED talk. 
Either ask a proper question or go snog a tree. So, let me get this straight. What you're saying is, is that you lack the basic human decency to understand another person's struggle, yeah? Shut up, Toby. <laughs> there are other people in the world beside you. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we here for Hilda the Fisherwoman's birthday? Well, no, but... Toby, let me stop you there. Is the next thing you're going to say a question? An actual question? The kind of thing you'd get in a quiz? I've got a different scenario about mating turtles. No, I'm sorry, Toby, you've had your chance. I am You're done. doing a problem. <sighs> this family gets weirder every year. Was anyone being weird at the meeting? Mm, what a bizarre question. Yeah, no, I know. Abby, please. Family that would never fucking lie to you. I haven't done this yet. I have to at least try. Huh. I just don't know what to believe. Believe me, Abby. Please. I can't. Abby, don't do this. I'm sorry. Abby, wait! Oh shit. Goodbye. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. This is like so sad. A tragedy. He was so young. I mean, he wasn't that young. Lottie! They're not going to show us the body. What? Could be anyone in there. Bradley, that's enough. It's breaking my heart that none of us could be there with him. Yeah. Who's missing? <laughs> Toby is missing. Am I the only one who thinks it's pretty weird that we let her come here after everything she said? We've spoken about this. Abby didn't take Marcus's death very well. She's apologised for the accusations she made. Accusations? She went psycho. That's enough, Bradley. Abby's not very well. Part of me wishes I had killed him. Oh, come on. Stop pretending. You all hated him just as much as I did. You can't tell me you're not just the tiniest bit relieved to see him in a box. June, that is no way to speak of the dead. We all know that Marcus wasn't the nicest man, but has he not suffered enough? I wouldn't be surprised if all that anger that he had inside is what drove him to an early grave. So sad. I still think it's weird she's here. Well, at least she bothered to turn up, which is more than we can say for your brother. Yeah, where is Toby? Where is he, anyway? I don't know. And I do not care. Sorry for what I said. Uncle Marcus's death has hit me really hard. I know that none of you would try to kill him. Unfortunately for you, Abby, apologies only get you so far. Oh, they won't even show us the coffin going into the fire. <sighs> Shit funeral. Right, I've paid my respects. I'm going. Yeah, I've got to get back to work. <clears throat> Abby, love, I... I'll give you a moment alone. Bruh, dude, what the fuck, man?